Hi, Micro Hunter here. And just to be clear right at the beginning, this here is not my belly button. Where's the picture? Okay, here we go. This is not my belly button. I got this picture from Wikipedia because it shows very well the so-called navel lint or navel fluff um, inside a belly button. Some people have this, especially those people with a lot of body hair. What happens is that uh, fibers from the clothing, they come off um, and they move towards the belly button and they collect inside the belly button and they make this ball of fibers. And uh, you know what? I also have uh, quite a bit of navel lint. And what I have done is I've taken uh, my uh, fluff and I've put it under the microscope and in polarized light. This looks really beautiful. I'm going to show you how I've done that. But then I did a little bit more research and I discovered that actually these fibers, many of them are quite synthetic um, and it means they're not biodegradable and they're a big problem for nature and for the environment. And I'm going to talk more about that later and also why I think that this is not very appetizing. You'll see. Well, I think I'm gonna start right at the beginning. First of all, many men will have navel fluff or navel lint as it's more correctly called. Uh, this navel lint, uh, th these are the fibers uh, from clothing and they collect inside the belly button. And usually around every day um, or so you just remove them and then it goes down the, the drain because when you take a shower, um, all of the fluff is washed away. And what I've done is, well, I collected this uh, navel lint uh, over the course of several days and I decided I'm gonna to put this under the microscope and as you can see the navel lint has different colors and this is because every day I wore a different t-shirt and therefore of course the fibers had a different color and therefore also the navel fluff had a different color. So um, that's uh, quite a lot of navel fluff actually that collects uh, over uh, over several days. So I said okay I'm gonna make myself a permanent slide now so that even future generations are able to admire my navel fluff and so I took uh, some mounting medium and I took a little bit of this uh, navel lint and uh, placed it uh, into the mounting medium and then of course I placed the cover glass on top and then it takes a few weeks for the mounting medium um, to dry. In any case uh, I placed uh, both of the slides that I made uh, under the microscope uh, and uh, then like expected I saw the fibers um, and uh, they looked quite okay I guess uh, but uh, I think hmm, you can top this a little bit because the fibers are dark on white background. Of course, you could see the colors a little bit, the colors, uh, but it didn't uh, work quite as so well as expected uh, because I actually wanted to, the fibers really to shine very brightly and very uh, beautifully. So what I've tried the following is I took uh, those uh, filters here. These are polarization filters or polarizing filters that you um, attach on um, on the camera, um, and uh, then this uh, reduces reflections when you take pictures using a camera and I uh, bought two of these uh, filters um, you can also buy thinner ones uh, those uh, have uh, then are basically much thinner because they only have a, a film they're in the plastic film so to say this one is made of glass um, but also works um, and then uh, basically what I did is, is I placed a filter over the light source and also one um, over the, the slide and uh, then um, I looked at the fibers in polarized light and this looked much more beautiful you really this really made the fibers really shine very brightly and, and uh, beautiful and you could also see the colors much better and what you have to do is, is if you do this you have to rotate you have to rotate the, the filters and then you can um, adjust it in such a way that the background becomes nice and black um, and the fibers they start to shine very brightly and it looks very uh, beautiful and very artistic even maybe I'm even going to make a, a picture of this uh, to be put uh, on my living room wall in any case uh, I wanted to now figure out what material are these fibers made of and uh, if you want to know that then you have to of course check uh, I had to check of course uh, the material of my t-shirts and I've seen that uh, several of my t-shirts indeed uh, contained a significant uh, part of synthetic fibers and uh, this is not really good because those synthetic fibers they are not biodegradable so what will happen is, is uh, that uh, they will end up in the wastewater and, and ultimately they will end up in the ocean and fish will eat them. Well first 
the plankton uh, they will eat the fibers and then the fish will eat the plankton so it will end up uh, in the fish and that's of course uh, something that is not very good and for this reason many of those uh, fibers they count as microplastics and therefore they should be if possible they should be avoided in any case uh, I have uh, looked at uh, these fibers uh, on, in the yeah, other of, of the navel lint and uh, then I decided as well okay um, I'm going to now figure out uh, whether there are indeed a lot of these fibers also in the uh, water of in the wastewater of a washing machine because this is also actually one of the important sources and one of the problem sources because clothing during the washing process they give off a lot of these fibers and so what it is I collected a little bit of uh, yeah wastewater uh, from my washing machine and I wanted to extract those fibers also to be observed under the microscope now in order to collect uh, the fibers uh, from my washing machine, from the wastewater of the washing machine, um, I had to filter uh, the liquid first, uh, the suspension, the fiber suspension uh, first and uh, for that I simply used a regular coffee filter um, and I poured uh, the wastewater into the filter and uh, it started to really be filtered quite quickly at the beginning but then after a few minutes or so it stopped uh, running and it only, there was only a slow dripping and this is an indicator that the fibers already started to clog the filters um, and uh, therefore I had to wait for quite a long time um, I dried the filter um, and uh, then I placed uh, a piece um, of the filter under my stereo microscope and uh, as expected I did see a whole bunch of fibers there however not quite as many as I expected um, and uh, I think the reason is is because uh, many fibers are white in color um, because uh, for example the, the bleached uh, underwear sometimes um, it's bleached and, uh, and white and therefore these fibers these cotton fibers are, cannot be seen very well um, on the white filter so maybe I should change the color of the filter and uh, then you can see it with a better contrast in any case I said okay um, there are fibers present as expected uh, but now let's directly observe um, some of the liquid uh, from uh, the washing uh, machine and uh, let's have a direct look um, and uh, so I took a small drop of some of the stuff that was still left in the filter and put it directly on a microscope slide and uh, what I did what did I see a lot of dirt I mean it, the fibers were difficult to see I did see a few of the fibers but they were quite difficult to see but in polarized light and that is something that uh, surprised me a little bit all of the fibers they started to really they start to shine and the remaining dirt and the remaining um, waste uh, that the debris and all of the other dirt uh, started to disappear because the fibers they were able to change the polarized light around in such a way that you could see it shine brightly and this is a very nice and a very good way of making um, yeah the fibers visible because they cut through right through the rest of the dirt um, on the slide and uh, this is a very easy way to make uh, them yeah to identify them even so uh, that is uh, not everything that I wanted to say because now I started to do a little bit more research and this is where I got a little bit worried because I found out that many of these fibers of course um, are not biodegradable so they will end up in the wastewater and uh, during the process of uh, cleaning the water they cannot be removed uh, so what will happen they will end up in the ocean in the water and a large part of the microplastics that you find nowadays in the ocean are those fibers from clothing I'm not so worried about the cotton really because that is cellulose and this will break down um, with, with time um, and uh, will be basically re, uh, yeah, put back into nature. Bacteria will break them down and then it's gone. But what about uh, the synthetic fibers? Well, they cannot be broken down because there's simply no enzymes in nature that are able to break them down. So they will hang around for a long time. And what will happen is, is that uh, those uh, fibers, they will be taken up uh, by the animals um, in the ocean and they will ultimately end up on our our plates. It's like this that scientists are now discovering that those microfibers are a problem because what they do is, is uh, they will not only build up in animals uh, but also they will also accumulate the certain poisons and toxins which will then be eaten by the animals as well and ultimately when the animals eat it when the plankton eats it and the fish eat the plankton and we eat the fish well what's gonna happen is, is that the fibers ultimately will also be eaten by us and uh, this is a concern that scientists are now starting to, st starting to study but I like to see the whole thing with a little bit of humor as well because it's kind of amusing to think uh, about that that the next time when you eat fish or when I eat fish 
Well, I'll also be eating a whole bunch of microfibers that were once in the belly button of somebody else. And that is, I think, a quite a strange thought, but that is how the world works. Everything is connected uh, somehow. And simply if we flush down something to drain, it's not simply gonna disappear. It's gonna go somewhere. Uh, and uh, with that thought uh, that uh, we are all somehow connected in that way, um, I just want to see you enjoy your meal and see you again around next time. And yeah, and from now on, we will not be eating the food the same way as we used to eat, because from now on, we're always gonna remember that when we eat fish, well, there are some microfibers in there, maybe even from me, okay? I'm sure you feel honored. I wish you best, uh, all the best uh, and happy micro hunting as always, and see you around next time. Bye-bye.